Welcome back to Josiah Plays, the Book of Unwritten Tales. I'm trying to solve this little puzzle here. And a little stone figure. The light beam is reflected by the little figure's mirror, but it's simply shining onto the floor. Should be able to just adjust it, yeah, somehow? Hmm, there are strange marks on the figure's pedestal. Looks like the figure may have been turned. The I've got to try and turn it back to its original position. That's what I need to do. I need to turn the figure. No, not quite. Not quite. There we go. Excellent. The is clear. Yay. Another puzzle solved. And now I have entry into, oh, there's the book, the book. One might even call it the book of unwritten tales. That's the, uh, the book that will tell me how to get to the secret artifact of ultimate MacGuffinness that we're looking for to save the world or whatever, or end the war or whatever. So, let's do it. Hmm, this must be the secret book. Oh, it's been written by hand and there are several pictures. There are a few words written in orange ink. That doesn't exist, does it? The artifact of divine faith. Dun, dun, dun. This is serious. I should get this book to the Archmage as quick as I can. <laughs> as long as I don't bump into the sorcerer or his troll, I should manage to make Seastone by midday tomorrow. Hm, shouldn't be a problem. Of course. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Ah! What, what was that? <laughs> it was all that dramatic stuff and then just a pebble fell and hit her on the head. A little pebble. Ow. But there was like this big dramatic build up. That was funny. So I got the book. And uh, it looks like we're going to... Oh, chapter two. In the town. Alright, that was chapter one. Prologue. Just ended. Uh, with uh, Wilbur being shot out of the gnome cannon thing to the city, and then uh, Ivo getting the book, and she's going to head to Seastone as well. And let's see what happens here in Chapter 2. Exciting stuff. This is fun. Oh, I have a guard and a bunny. He's eating a sandwich. This looks like... Uh-oh, here I come. I'm coming in for a landing, huh? <laughs> I just hit the wall. I had the pot on my head, thank goodness. And it looks like it fell off. And here comes Wilbur. I guess he made it to the to town after all. Why are you staring like that? Never seen a town guard before? No. You... You're a human, aren't you? Me? Yes, uh... You could say that, never been anything else. <laughs> Wow. My name is Bartholomew Anton Shieldhand, Royal Town Guard of Seastone. Nice name. And who are you? Um. <laughs> Scratched his butt there. Alright, uh. It looks nice. It's a beautiful game. Call me Mr. Underhill. That was, uh. The Hobbit. The Hobbit. <laughs> Bilbo, like, used that as a. as a. Uh, like an alias. Weathervane. Wilbur Weathervane. Or Wilbrush Weatherwood. I think that might be a reference to, like, uh, the guy from Monkey Island. Yeah, and I want to become a pirate? I think so. Uh, let's start with, uh, Mr. Underhill. My name is Mr. Underhill. I'm, I'm on a secret mission. Underhill? So-so. Where, where am I? This lovely seaside resort? Residence of the Archmage and home of the Sea Shanty Singers is Seastone. Seastone? Then I made it! Yay! Absolutely, I'd say. And here's me thinking that the Orcs were firing grunts at our walls again. <laughs> I have to see the Archmage. It's urgent. <laughs> then I wish you the best of luck. The guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. He won't let you through to the Archmage that easily. Uh-oh. Archmage actually in town, then. Is the Archmage even in his tower at the moment? 
I'm not allowed to give out any information on that subject. Those are the regulations. Can you tell me anything about the Archmage? Do you know him personally? Of course I know him. The Seastone Town Guard is also responsible for protecting the Archmage. Hmm. Why does he need protection if he's as powerful as everyone says? <laughs> well, he's not uh, exactly the greatest of warriors. No? No. He's uh, more strange. He thinks about stuff, you know. Ah. Strange? Why does he do that? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Why would you think about stuff? That's crazy talk. Upper Town? Is that where the Archmage's Tower is? What do you mean by Upper Town? Well, the town's divided into the Upper Town and the Lower Town. The Archmage's Tower is, of course, in the Upper Town. And what's in the Lower Town? Taverns, shops, the common people's dwellings. Well, at least they used to live there. Not anymore. Hmm. Not anymore? What's happened? Where are the town's inhabitants? Gone. Lots of them died when the town was besieged. And most of the survivors then went off with Gustav the Handsome to take revenge. That was rather... less than successful. <laughs> and how many people are still living here? Not so many anymore. If the Archmage hadn't had his tower here, the town would have probably been abandoned. Sounds pretty sad. But things will get better. Wait until we win the war and everyone comes back. Well, those that are still alive. All right, so most of the town is abandoned. Why are you guarding a town where pretty well nobody lives anymore? But if almost no one lives here, who are you guarding? Oh, I'm not guarding the inhabitants, I'm guarding the town. Mm. I'm guarding it like my father did before me and his father before him. But not his father, he was a blacksmith. But his brother-in-law was a town guard <laughs> and his father was a baker. Interesting. I have to go. I'll get in to see the Archmage one way or another. Yeah. I never. I have to get back to my post too. My break's over. So, Mr. Underwood, on a secret mission. Best of luck on your adventure. We'll no doubt bump into each other again. No doubt. Thanks, Mr. Shieldhand. See you later. Hmm. <laughs> Homer's a charming little guy too. I like his voice actor as well. All right, and here we are. Outside of Seastone. Look at him just kind of like trundling along. <laughs> Alright, so we have a lot of stuff. Lovely looking town. What is this? The emblem. Hello, emblem. Emblem. I think that's the town's coat of arms, but it's pretty faded and dirty. You can't really see anything. I see. Town wall. There have been some heavy battles fought around Seastone in the last few years. It looks like the town definitely sustained some damage. Yeah, things look a little bit messed up. There's some damage for sure. Here we have a bunny rabbit. Oh, a fluffy wuffy little bunny rabbit. All white and soft and gentle and sweet. And I just want to cuddle it and... Oh, I'm an adventurer now. I must act like one. <laughs> it's a rabbit. A white one. <laughs> I'm an adventurer now. I should kill it and see what it drops. Take the rabbit. Oh hey, yeah. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, not it's not a having chance. It. it won't let itself be caught that easily. And besides, I wouldn't know what to do with the rabbit anyway. I mean, except just love it a bit. <laughs> All right. So there'd be no catching the rabbit at this point. What? A small tree. A small tree. It survived the bloody battles and the decline of the town without a scratch, a sign of hope. Well, that's good. I don't really know what kind of tree it is, but it looks very slender and flexible. I don't really know. All right, what else? Uh, you got the rabbit, the tree. Uh, what's over here? Oh, the sign. Swamp of Death. I don't think so. It doesn't sound particularly healthy to me. <laughs> Swamp of Death? That sounds bad. It says, the meadows. No idea what that's supposed to be. So this way to the meadows. It says, that way to the swamp of death. To the swamp of death. Can I actually... Oh, I have the one ring here. <laughs> the one ring. The gremlin's golden ring. I have to get it to the archmage as quickly as possible.
Hmm. What are you doing, Wilbur? So I guess I can't. There's not really any. What about over here? There's no way to go. I can't actually go down these paths or anything right now, I guess. So... I got the sign. What about this rock here? Flat stone. There's a small stone beside the large one. It's half buried in the ground. Hmm. Lift up the flat stone. Ugh! I've discovered the secret world of beetles, bugs, and fleas and spiders. Hmm. Like the secret world of bees. The beetles don't seem to like the bright light as they're scurrying into the shadows. Not that quick about it, though. I could certainly catch a few, but where would I store them? Ah, so I need something to store beetles. The beetles don't seem to like the bright light as this. I could certainly... Alright, not much else I can do there at the moment. Alright, I guess it's just into the town I go here. I don't think anyone in my family has ever set foot in a human town before, not even Grandad. Not even Grandad. Going where no gnome has gone before. Oh, cool. I'm on this little street and it just curves around here. Awesome. Okay, so go to the gate to the upper town is over that way. Enter the tavern. Look at the door with the signs. Leave the town through the town gate. Alright, so that's the way out. Uh, what else? Do, what do we have here? Look at the market stall. A pretty shabby stall. Doesn't look like anything's been sold here recently. Hmm. A pretty shabby stall. Alright, so the stall is looking kind of abandoned. We have here, this says wizard on the door. There are two signs on the door. One says, Master Marcus's Magic Mage School. <laughs> the other says, back soon. Mas Both signs are covered in cobwebs. They must have been hanging there for days or even weeks. Ah, this place is abandoned as well. Master Marcus's Magic Mage School. <laughs> yes. It's not just a mage school. It's not just a magic school. It's a magic mage school. Here we have some cartons. Some boxes and cartons. They're all empty. Hmm. wonder what those are about. The moving companies must have earned a fortune when the city was abandoned. They earned some good coin. They're firmly in goblin hands, and no one really likes to negotiate with them about prices. Hmm. Okay. This is all this is all really nice looking. I like the way this one is laid out too with this the way it scrolls. Okay, what else we have here? A drain. A very dirty drain. The sewers should be down there somewhere. Oh, the sewers. A very dirty drain. Here's some carts. The cart is pretty overgrown. It obviously hasn't been moved in months. Hmm. There's a sack on the cart. Something about the smell tells me it's probably full of rotten grain. Nothing for me there. Rotten grain. Okay. There's a boar's head. What does this say? Prancing... Prancing hog head? Something like... Look at the sign on the tavern. Okay. What kind of name is that? Wait, what did that just say? I've never been to a tavern with a more ridiculous name. Well, then again, I've never actually been to a human tavern before. Huh. Looks like it says Prancing Hoghead, but when I the subtitle came up, when I looked at it, it looked like it says something about Dancing Boar's Head. So maybe there's a little difference in translation there. But, uh, okay, and that's the way up to the gate to the upper town. Well, before I go up there, I think it looks like I can go inside the tavern... And that's probably about the only thing. Oh, I can go inside the mage school, too. Well, that's an actual exit thing. This is just a... Anyway, um, that's all the time I have for this video. So, thank you for watching. Josiah Plays, The Book of Unwritten Tales. I'll see you next time.